Thank you, Secretary Azar. Welcome to the People's House. And thank you for coming today for the opportunity to ask questions, and more importantly, to finally receive some of the answers in full view of the American public. Um, there are certainly many topics to select today, but I, I want to spend some time focusing on an administrative policy that shocked the nation in the not so distant past, the policy of separating children from their families. Just recently, Secretary Nielsen testified before Congress on this same policy, but I'm particularly interested in to hear from you, Secretary Azar, uh, considering your position leading the agency whose mission statement, as you said in your opening statement today, uh, to enhance and protect the health and well-being of all Americans by providing for effective health and human services by fostering sound, sustained advances in sciences, underlying medicine, public health, and social services. That being the case, I'm interested to hear what, if anything, was done to protect these children and what is being done to address these, these uh, um, ill effects on the children and their physical and mental condition. Um, so my first question is, in cases where a parent is separated from a child because of criminal conduct or safety-related concerns, what evidentiary standard is required to justify the separation and what written guidance or policy, if any, is provided to your department by DHS personnel making these determinations um, in when it comes to the child's welfare and expertise that comes out of your department? So um, we do not separate children. The Correct, but then right, the decision to separate that, is, would be made over generally at DHS, and that would usually be CBP, sometimes ICE over there. Um, I do know there are standards in the TVPRA, the Trafficking Victims Protection Act, that um, certain felonies require uh, for, our felony conviction is required there, <clears throat> but I'd have to defer to DHS on what the contours are. We don't actually have a say in what the standards are necessarily that they would use. We, we, get, we get children, uh, and hopefully we get with as much information as possible why they're coming to us either across the border or coming Th thank from you. a family unit. Reclaiming my time, what, what, what I'm trying to get at um, here is HHS is better qualified with expertise to deal with children, especially when they're separated from their family. DHS doesn't do that as well as you do. They turn them over to you, is that correct? That, that is correct, okay, yes. Okay, so my, the root of my question is this. That having been the case, and thousands and thousands of children having been turned over to HHS from DHS, is HHS engaged in advising DHS so that they can make better decisions in the interest of the physical and mental health and well-being of that child? So I think, I think that's, a, that's a very fair question. I don't, think, I don't think we're fully engaged in the sense that they have their agents who have to make judgment calls on individual cases. They have their standards internally. I don't have those. I would obviously welcome the opportunity for HHS's child welfare professionals to provide advice and assistance to DHS in, in, in making those calls and setting standards for their, their SOPs. We may have done so. I apologize. I don't, if, if it's happening, I don't want to slight the process, but we'd be very happy always to, to be engaged in that. If, and also, if, if HHS has been engaged in dialoguing with DHS on these matters, if you could forward any of that uh, to us so we can understand the collaboration that's going on so that hopefully should these uh, separations ever continue, and it's my understanding that some children are still separated from their parents, that we at, would at least expect that in the United States of America, with all the resources and expertise we have, they would be minimizing the effects on these children's physical and mental well-being, um, at, at, at adverse effects on their well-being. Um, so if, any, if there's any information showing that that dialogue is going on. To me, that's good. We'd love to, to know what that is. Yeah, thank and you. It, I, think that's an, I mean, it's, it's, a very, it's a very important question and you. concern. I, I appreciate you're doing that. Okay, and, and also, <coughs> has HHS already instituted policies, protocols, and procedures to limit harm <coughs> to children and their families uh, during these separations? In other words, since these separations have become so public and the numbers have grown most recently, has HHS change or instituted new